and welcome to the court's Home Coach Interior Design Challenge. Over the next few weeks, five designers will be going head to head to showcase their creativity, their style and their effectiveness, all vying for a chance to win a share of over $1 million of cash and prizes. I'll be your host, Debbie Bissoon. Let's go. Many were called, but these five designers made the cut. It's a battle of talent, creativity, and innovation, as some of the best in design make their best pitches. Who will blow the competition away? Find out this week on Quartz Home Coach. Hello, designers. Hello. Hi. Only three of you left. Oh my gosh, you are what? One, two steps closer to the finish line? Something like that. Yeah, you like that? Something like that. Something like that. Uh, I am happy about working alone because I get to ultimately decide on what the elements are, what they look like, um, how it flows. So it's just me and me to praise and me to blame. <laughs> I miss my person to bounce ideas off of, but I usually play alone. So yeah, I'm ready to, you know, work again by myself. Well, today's challenge, ladies, is about creating a grand suite that is prime for all things tranquil. Ready? Yeah. 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 So for this challenge, I want to create a retreat for this bedroom. I'm going to try and be a bit more daring than I've been before, use dark colors, not the typical bedroom setup. I want it to feel like you're being swallowed by this room. Like you go in there and it's a whole new world. It's, you close your eyes and it's just refuge. That's what I want to recreate for the client in this space. So you have this bedroom here. I know it does not look much like a bedroom right now. It's all white, it's all unfinished, but that is your job to okay. create that space, right? You have the bedroom to, to do. You also have the walk-in closet and also the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Our client wants something that is ideal for a hard end of day, right? Got you. So it must be functional, it must be cozy, must be modern, must be something that's warm, but still airy, as you can see, it's a space that has really big glass, really big windows. And of course, it has to be able to fit him and whoever he wants to bring into this space. So my plans for this, you know, design challenge is really just to learn from the previous episodes. I think I have a sense now of what, you know, our client would like in terms of color scheme, in terms of materials. So I am just trying to stick to that, you know, look and feel as best as possible. At the end of this challenge, you will be winning, drum roll, a grand immunity prize. Wow. So you will actually get a place, you're guaranteed a place in the finale. Woo. So make sure that you do your very best so that we'll see you there. I'm hoping that I win this challenge so I can get the immunity. Uh, it's not, not great at all the challenges, I may admit. I'm not the greatest at everything, as much as I'd want to be. I, it's terrible at the outdoor challenge. If it's another outdoor space or a area in design I'm not the strongest at, I would like to know that I'm safe. Immunity would be great because I don't have to really worry about um, what my design would look like next week. I mean, it could be a more challenging design, of course, so that would be great. And plus things happen, you know, sometimes your day don't go as planned, so you don't get to do the things that you intend to do. So not worrying about elimination is, is actually a great prize. I would say getting immunity for this round. Um, it would be so much for me. It would be so much. Um, I really, really want to continue to the next round. So, um, if I do get it, thank God. Okay. All right. All right. Let's get designing. Yeah. Ooh, thanks, Debs. If I could have it my way, 
in the final two i really hope that it's me and laurie i've i like a good challenge and she's been second all this time i think it'd be cool to be head to head with her to see her strengths in without having to fight with a whole other team of people i think she's really gifted i like to see what she can come with i like to also see where she has her downfalls so i can strategically win in the final two with me who would i want to see um uh, I, I don't really have any one in particular that i'd want to see in the final two <laughs> all right since i have to i would say lisa for one i know she's good what will i be doing to ensure i stay in the competition uh everything haven't slept haven't eaten I'm unhealthy. <laughs> I haven't had a drink. <laughs> no, I had a drink this morning. Take that back. What I would do to ensure that I stay in this challenge is definitely keep my eyes on details. Make sure that I pick up on every detail that is given, make notes, and don't leave them out. Designers. Hey, coach. Congratulations on making it to the top three. Today's challenge is a master suite in the bedroom. We're looking for, of course, a king size bed, ceiling treatment, tiles, windows on the outside, looking for some rails. For the closet, we're looking for a lot of clothing space, shelves to the roof for shoes, a vanity. For the bathroom, we're looking for standing shorts, a tub, a double vanity, as well as a toilet. So after working with somebody, I do see the benefit of getting help with executing a design. So doing, going back to working solo when you have to do absolutely everything alone was a bit of a adjustment. Okay. Good? Yes. Any questions? No. Lisa. Will we be eliminated for not adding a tub to the bathroom? No. Okay. <laughs> Lori? <laughs> Question? No, no <laughs> questions. <laughs> <laughs> like putting together the presentation, I absolutely hate that process because it's it's not easy. <laughs> like it's not. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. All goes well. Um, nervous. <laughs> Who will make the winning pick? Stay tuned for more Quartz Home Coach. Home Coach JA is pleased to welcome our official title sponsor of the Home Coach Interior Design Challenge. Quartz, bringing value home. The Quartz Home Coach Interior Design Challenge. Sundays at 5.30 p.m. on TVJ. From generation to generation, Jamaicans have depended on Jay and Bank to make the pride and joy of providing a safe place for their families possible. Now, with no processing fees and no down payment mortgage options, you can open the door to your own sweet home, a legacy to hand to your next generation. Visit jnbank.com to get pre approved today. Jay and Bank will help you find a way. Home Coach Jamaica welcomes Creative Building Finishes, our official tile sponsor for the Quartz Home Coach Interior Design Challenge. Creative Building Finishes. Get tiles. Get creative. The Quartz Home Coach Interior Design Challenge. Sundays at 5.30 p.m. on TVJ. Buying a home is a significant milestone. But before you purchase your home, you're going to need some savings to pay for your deposit and any additional costs. Some vendors require a 5 to 15% deposit, as well as you'll have to cover any escalation, legal fees, or additional costs that may come up. One tip in how to achieve your goal is to set a budget and stick to it. Additionally, you may want to open a savings account dedicated to your home purchase and set up an automatic transfer so that your savings goes to this account religiously every month. 
ensure to keep this home purchase account off limits. Resist the urge to treat yourself and ensure that you send any bonuses or NHT refunds directly to this account. Remember to be realistic about your expenses, including those small day-to-day -day transactions. So now you have your savings, the next thing to do is to look for the property you want. Think about your needs. Do you want a house with a yard or do you want to live in a complex? What are your must-haves? You can achieve your own sweet home. Get a pre-approved JN Bank mortgage today. Quartz Home Coach now continues. Judges, we are back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh gosh, Home Coach Jason, Design Diva Karen. You know, this is where our designers will be presenting their grand suite ideas. Mm -hmm. They were tasked to create the ultimate space for bedroom, relaxation, tranquility, functionality, all of them good stuff. And they also had to take into consideration the walk-in closet, right. which is very important. We can't have a bedroom without a closet. It doesn't work. And of course, we have to take into consideration bathroom. the bathroom as well. So right. they were asked to come together, uh, you know, put together their own designs, their own ideas to create that grand suite. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're ready to see them. Ready? Yeah. Lisa is up first. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Debbie. Tell us about your design. <laughs> okay. Well, for my design, I had wanted to create a cave-like feeling. I wanted it to be a complete refuge for the client, where they would enter through the doors, which would be a sliding door as from the last uh, presentation, and they would come where the space just kind of opens up, meaning I'd move the overhead door like section right here and open the space completely to the ceiling. For the colors, I chose a very dark blue. I wanted it to feel like it's swallowing you. It's keeping you whole, it's holding you in a nice embrace. For the layout, I have two Shea lounges facing each other on a nice rug with a nice center table there to have conversation and also another place for, you know, extra person to sleep. I have the TV along here which would operate on a swivel so you can actually be able to watch TV while seated in the Shea lounges or from the bed and along this wall here I had taken our lovely guest judge's advice and added biolithic design and had a planter here so it actually opens that's the door to the balcony so it creates a green space kind of leading you to the outdoors in that area. The ceiling in the bedroom I have created at least a three inch recess around this large ceiling fan. On the bathroom, I wanted to create a feeling of oneness in the space. I used glass, metals and stone to do this. The floors, I have the same as all the walls, which is a travertine. And in the shower itself, I have wood planks that are slightly raised below the floor level, so it actually drains underneath and have a nice shower wall here as well. We could also add jets if you'd like. And the shower actually continues for the entire back section of the uh, bathroom with a shower bench on one end. To have that whole luxury shower experience, you have space. For the sink itself, I have a double sink with a marble top, uh, built-in sinks, and I use black fixtures throughout. I had also, what you're not seeing in the rendering is have a floor to ceiling uh, mirror here, which is also repeated on this side. Both doors are barn doors, so they slide. So walking along, you're gonna be seeing a mirror on the left and a mirror on the right within two rooms when you're entering in between to the bedroom. So it's gonna give this really nice effect where you're seeing yourself in peripheral vision. The closet now, I have this design. I'm using metal, square metal pieces to create uh, the rods that come down from the ceiling, instead of having the plain rod going across, it also adds an architectural element to the space. Paired with the light floors, I have the dark wood that would also be part drawers, part open cubbies, and open shelving that has also incorporating a lot of LED lighting to light the space. And as you see here, I have the closet storage wrapping around, all open storage like this with a small area here which opens out to this little niche which can be all shoes on this back wall and space for a vanity and a chair. All right, thank you, Lisa. You're welcome. 
Melodious Melodia. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. So, Melodia, you know the assignments. Well, I wanted the overall theme to be very light. It shouldn't feel dreadful and dark. And I wanted it to play up every light color, warmth, but keeping it airy as much as possible. So, starting with the bedroom, I opted to go with the non-traditional type of bed. I wanted to, it to be more modern, more in style, but at the same time should still be warm and cozy. I brought in a little bit of marble because I'm a marble girl. And at the same time, we still needed some greenery in this space. Can't have warmth and wood without green. And so, bringing in the elements of green, we had to bring in some blues to tone it. Um, seeing we're going for air feel, wanted to feel um, almost beachy, right? So I brought in a little bit of the blues in the carpet, and also bringing in an area to relax. Watch TV if you don't want to go out into the rest of the home. So I brought a little, you know, seating area that would still give you enough room to just cozy up, read a book, and maybe even just you and your partner, you know, if the client is like that, would like to just sit, you know, maybe not on the bed after you, you make your bed. Right. Yes. Okay. So, we walk over to the closet, one of the main areas of the suite. Right. So, I also wanted to bring that theme that light wooden theme back into the closet. And the full length mirror because what's a closet without a full length mirror? <laughs> so I brought that back in and also brought some plants in and we couldn't leave out the vanity area. It is definitely what the client asked for and so it had to be in an area where it would stand out but it would still match the rest of the theme. And to accommodate shoes I noticed that there was a little area where we could have a rotating shoe closet or rack and then moving on to the bathroom ah, my favorite part because of the double vanity right so with the style of the double vanity is very different it also ties back to your master closet through the wood detailing. More on Quartz Home Coach after the break. Home Coach JA is pleased to welcome our official title sponsor of the Home Coach Interior Design Challenge. Quartz, bringing value home. The Quartz Home Coach Interior Design Challenge. Sundays at 5.30 p.m. on TVJ. Home Coach JA welcomes Berger Paints, our paint partner of choice for the Quartz Home Coach Interior Design Challenge. Berger Paints for lasting beauty and protection. The Quartz Home Coach Interior Design Challenge, Sundays at 5:30 p.m. on TVJ. Quartz Home Coach now continues. Hi, Lori. Hi, Debbie. You look ready to present your case. I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so get into it. Now, what are we looking at? All right, so I decided to go with a color tone that include what, you know, I got a feel of what the client likes. So we're going with grays. Um, we're going with warm tones like champagne. Um, we're going with warm wood tones, very light wood tone as exemplified here. We're going with um, black accents also. So I call this the luxury Pantone. And um, we're going with warm but moody, cool but cozy. For the bedroom, I'm thinking to have, of course, a king size bed. I'm thinking to have um, 
as exemplified here i want like a strip wall pattern to the side with the bed in the center below the mirror, um, the window that's existing for the wall i'm thinking a cool gray paint but for the floors i'm definitely thinking a polished concrete floor that will keep give that gray tone but uses the flooring that's already there i'm thinking to put like a little pocket lounge with a center table and two coaches just for you know chilling or relaxing in the bedroom now on the opposite side i'm thinking of having a tv wall so the tv wall design i'm thinking of is exemplified here um, essentially it will be a multi-purpose wall with a floating storage area for the roof i'm thinking drop ceiling but i'm thinking of industrial type lighting track lighting as exemplified over there there is also this weird little corner to the left side as you enter it's like a l-shaped so i'm thinking of having a l-shaped vanity with a seating area as well as a mirror as well as a little slot wall just to hang anything that you need to hang all right so moving on to the bathroom right color tone is still maintained uh, for the vanity area it will maintain plumbing and fixtures as they are for the vanity area i'm thinking an extended vanity as we see here with a lot of storage shelving options i'm thinking of a half moon mirror <laughs> um, so we can either go with a shower as exemplified here, I want to have like a champagne colored uh, fixture. You can call it champagne showers. <laughs> um, and of course, for the bathtub option, I'm thinking just to create a little uh, area, put some gravel in it, have the bathtub there, have a little stool, have some lights, a little recessed shelving area. And of course, uh, more slot walls in case you need to hang anything now for the closet, I'm thinking L-shaped because that's where most of the space is. Now for the breakdown of the closet, I'm thinking of course a warm wood tone but with black accents and glass. So you can see everything that's there, very warm lighting. If you want to store small items like ties, um, there's a tray built in for that. We still have drawers. For the vanity area, consistent with all of the theme in all of my design, is the slot wall feature, a seating option, a full length mirror with a floating vanity. All right, Lori, thank you so much for your presentation. Much to consider. Well, thank you. All right. All right. All right, judges, three ladies left, and that presentation just now, holy for things to consider. Karen? It was really interesting. Okay. One of them is a bit disappointing to me, and I'm not even going to discuss that one. Oh, but oh, oh, no, you, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> we here, we got to discuss it. Right, so let's start. So, so Lisa was our first presentation. Lisa was that navy wall, and yeah. Okay, all right, so we want to start there. Yeah, man. You want to go there? there. We're going to go there. All right, fine. So you want to you wanna consider the client's likes, dislikes, mm -hmm. and, and so on. So you never really want to start dark. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It might put them in a dark place. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move the lane. Yeah, yeah. Melodia, no. Her palette, yes. out of the yes. world. Yeah. Can I tell you? Yes. So if we could take that palette and drop it in. Lisa's, Lisa's palette. Mm -hmm. we have a I did not like that sky. That, that, um, the skylight? The sky, the skylight. skylight, no. I want to have control. If I want to go to sleep in the daytime. Time. Me don't want no one but the lights are coming to my eye. Yeah. I need to be mm -hmm. able to block that out. So right. Yeah. Um, I believe that she put that in there. Something called a circadian, a circadian rhythm, mm -hmm. right? As that means how we live. So th it will mimic morning, noon, night. I believe that it was in her thought process. You want to sleep at daytime? Yeah. Lori's presentation to me was a bit confusing. Mm -hmm. It was just like you know all over the place. Um, I loved her palette. You know, but I would have wanted her to be a little more focused. Yeah, I think we have a winner with some changes. Right, um, and also, you know, remember, interior design is not rigid and inflexible. It's organic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's fluid. So it's Darling. fluid. Yeah. Can make some changes. Well, let's call them back in. Welcome back, designers. We saw your presentations, and we believe it was a really good effort. So you can clap yourselves for that. Clap yourselves for that. The winner of this challenge course guarantees you have an immunity into the finale.
This is not a little win. This is a big win. It's huge. The winner of this challenge with pending consultation, with with pending consultation, consultation and budget and, and budget and timelines and, time and, time and, time <laughs> and what's possible. The winner with is Lisa. Lisa, you are going straight to the finals. <laughs> I feel excited to have won. I wish that money came with the uh, immunity. You know, I wish that it was a, like a monetary prize or another prize, like another like trip somewhere. But that's only because I like winning things. The next challenge, one of you will be going home. It's an elimination round and so bring it. It's not the time to play small anymore.